upon a time, there was an island. Yeah, an island with trees and sand and shit. Anyway, on this island lived a boy called Sora. My name is Sora. I'm 14 years old and I have brown hair and blue eyes. Also, I'm totally not homosexual. <laughs> Sora had a best friend slash butt buddy whose name was Riku. The darkness is everywhere, oh god! Also, I'm too bishy for you. Yeah. And then there was also some broad who hung out with them all the time. <laughs> the three of them lived on this island and they were really happy because they never had to go to school ever. That was until a freaky storm happened. Kari lost her heart, Riku dissolved into a pile of purple goo, and Sora started hitting things with a giant key. Then he got sucked up into the sky or something. <laughs> Yeah, just like that. Because no one cares about Riku or Kairi, the game follows Sora, who wakes up in a freaky town full of prostitutes, drug dealers, and gang warfare. Then someone tried to mug him and bonked him on the head, so Artie starts hallucinating about a duck and a walking dog who were trying to molest him. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. The magical animals had a magical gummy ship, someone's obsessed with gummy bears, and they decided to travel around the world, beating up these adorable little dudes with yellow eyes. Then when they were bored, they looked for Riku and Kairi, maybe. Actually, Sora only ever looked for Kari because he, nev he never loved Riku at all. Ugh, oh, I've been rejected again. So anyway, a bunch of freaky shit happens. They find Riku, who's on his period, and they find Kari, who's comatose. Riku was like, How dare you replace me, Sora? We're not friends anymore. You're not coming to my birthday party. And Kari was like, A definite improvement, I would say. So then Sora discovers that Kairi's actually a man. Kairi's inside me? And so he shanks himself with Riku's keyblade. Kairi wakes up and Sora goes Pfft. And then they hug or something and Sora's all better. I don't know. Anyway, so Sora finds out that Riku's being possessed by this pedophile dude who likes to sh show off his wax chest to the chillins. Sora's like, No, let Riku go! And Riku's like, You're a bitch, Sora. I hate you. And then they fight or whatever, and Sora says his magical line that made him several million dollars. I know now, without a doubt, Kingdom Hearts is light! Actually, I thought Kingdom Hearts looked more like a door, but, you know, that's just me. So then they lock Riku into the naughty corner, Kairi gets shifted off to boarding school, and Sora, Donald, and Goofy decide to go find an arcade somewhere. Oh, 